guys welcome to today's video today we're headed out to do some shopping just Sam and I it's like a date morning I don't have big plans for today usually after a show on Sunday we all rest and I did rest last night I was asleep did you notice I was like extra tired last night yeah. Like at seven o'clock, I just disappeared, and I I thought I could just like turn that TV down. <laughs> yeah, it was so loud. I'm like, I thought I could just rest for a short time, but no, that was not the case. I needed sleep. <laughs> I slept all night long from like seven o'clock. I didn't even know I was gonna fall asleep. It just was so crazy. I think sometimes if it's windy out, you don't really feel the sun as much as it's there, and then you get so much, and then it just knocks you out. It knocked me out. Something knocked me out. But anyway, welcome it to today's video. Uh, we're headed to Walmart to get some shopping done and then we're home and we're going to introduce you to Spot and Millie. Spot and Millie, I think that's their names. We got a Spot and a Millie and they're brand new to our channel. So we're going to show you guys them and I'm hoping to ride Penny today again because I am in the mood for riding. Yesterday watching those girls ride made me want to ride. Oh. It is time for snacks. The, ho the chickens love when we come out. So every day we make food for the bearded dragon and it's just like greens and vegetables and fruit. <laughs> Put it down there so I can see. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a little rooster and we, he's going to a new home. No, he's not. Yes, he is. But I love it, you guys. Like, we taught our chickens to come for food. Ow. Yeah, they don't hurt, though. It's, they do hurt. It's, it's not, not yeah. So, uh, the other day, uh, Sylvia and I told you uh, that we went to pick up something so super cute, and we named them Spot and Millie. Millie and Spot, and I'm sure you want to see what it is. Well, get ready. It is? A tornado. A tornado. It is a dog. That I said, go away. Go away, Molly. She's fine. I, she listens. All right, you better listen. All right, are you guys ready to see Spot and Egg? <laughs> Go lay down. Go inside. All right, all right. So Spot and Millie in three, two, one. Spot and Millie, you guys. Welcome to the day, fam. Spot and Millie. So I don't know if you guys know. I've been saying any of you chicken people that my dream chicken, my second dream chicken. Actually, this is my first dream chicken. I like Cochins and I like Silkies and we have we had, did have a Silky once, a really old one. But this, this dog. these are young Silkies, Here, they're painted Silkies and they're adorable and this painted Silky is Vaxi, black and white, <laughs> black and white. Oh. Anyway, they're so good, oh. they're so cute. One is a rooster because I want to breed Silkies. Oh my gosh. You did it. All right, do it again. Ow. Molly, come here. Sit. Wait. <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's always funny. Yeah, it's always cute. Okay. Not, not you, Molly. Go. So anyways, that's them. They're the new additions to our family and we love them. They're paints, like I said. And one is a little hen and she's 15 months old and one is a little rooster and he's five months old. So that's my rooster and I love them. We gave them a bath the other day. This is Millie. This is Millie. Millie Benilli. <laughs> anyway, we had them in the brooder instead of in the, cause we're gonna slowly introduce them to the flock. Um, and they, Sophie went to get them and they walked through poop. So even though we gave them a bath the other day when we okay, got them. So when we got her, um, the person told us that she attacks the rooster. Yeah, watch this. She said, the lady said, oh, she's so mean. And it's funny because she's not really that mean, but he's such a, a baby and he overreacts to her. And it is funny. The other day we, were, we had them out here and we were just watching them. And she pecked him and said, get away. And he said, I will peck you back. And then she pecked him again and he flew three feet in the air. Like he me. pretends to be brave, but he's not brave. Not brave at all. <laughs> not brave at all. But anyway, that's them. They are adorable. I always wanted like to breed silkies. And I always thought I would just get white or or white 
and then maybe a black one. I never thought we'd ever end up with paint ones. They're so it's cute. It's awesome because I love spotted animals and they're Yeah, crazy. yeah. And Sophie shares my dream with the chickens. Gabby is not a chicken lover, which is so weird because Kate from Barn Boots and Country Roots, she doesn't like chickens either. Julia loves chickens. And Julia loves chickens. But look at their bums. That's the cutest butt. Anyway, those are them. Those are our new additions. So we have in our flock, my goal is like eight chickens max. Never, I don't want any more than that. If I have more than eight chickens, it feels like a chore to me because chickens need so, like the more you have, like the more times you have to water and the more times you have to feed them. With eight chickens, it feels like all I do is feed them. Or no, with more than eight chickens, it feels like all I do is feed them. I want to be able to like feed them and water them and then sit and watch them and then not have to do it every single day. Eight chickens is manageable for us. And our new coop is gonna hold like up to 12 chickens. So eight seems like they'll have lots of room. So anyway, we have a, currently we have a rooster, is a chicken that we have been holding on to because Sophie's in love with it. We're and I, it. I knew he was a rooster and we can't keep him. We're so him. we're not keeping him. We're gonna have three chicken coops one day and he's gonna be in one of them. Well, maybe. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But I know what it's like to love a chicken and not want to get rid of it. This is what you do when you're a farmer and your wife rides horses. You go out with your tractor and dirt and you fill up all the potholes so your wife doesn't be scared. Sam has also been putting all of our hay in the barn. This is the last of it. The last of the, the, last of the first cut anyways. And it's been outside and it's, it's pretty dry. It's, good anyways it's Sunday and it's like a quiet day I feel like it's a quiet day I hope it's a quiet day so you guys know that my goal <laughs> what are you doing taking a break oh. so you guys know that my goal is to ride a penny on a trail and I think I should do at least two trails this summer because she's gonna go crazy the first trail so I messaged my friend and I'm like, okay, we're, I'm ready. I'm ready for a trail. I have a couple more things. Like today I wanna to try and ride her a little bit on the road. Not like so much on the road, just a little bit on the road because I'm a chicken. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my goal today is to ride her a little bit on the road. It's Sunday and it's quiet and it's nice and cool out. Like it's warm up, but it's breezy and I love that. So the problem is my friend wants to come and see if my horse will get on her trailer. She will. I'm sure she will. She's used to like a step up. She's not used to a ramp. And um, she wants to see if her horse is going to be okay with my horse. And that's the problem. My horse is not going to like her horse. So can you go on a trail ride if your horse doesn't like the other person's horse? Like, is that a possibility? Like, can I just walk way behind her? <laughs> like, I don't know. Tell me, guys. What's going to happen? Like, she is not going to like another horse. Penny does not like other horses. She has to take her time and get used to them. And that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Come here, Gracie girl. Oh, look, I love it. Minus all the poop in the background. Yeah, look at that little pony. Like, you guys. Oh, Penny's like, I will do it too. <laughs> and then she did it and she's like, ew, I will not do that. <laughs> But this little pony literally lived in a field for 15 years. She had five babies and that's all that was ever done with her. The girl that, that where I got Willow, the girl that, that, the place that we got Willow, the girl said, I just want somebody to like, so she had, had her for a year and she handled her and took her for little walks and like loved on her. But she said, I just want Willow. I know, Penny has got to be in the middle of everything. But she said, I want her just to be loved and be in a family and have a little girl and a little girl to love her. And what we ended up getting was so much more. And this is why I want, like, in another life, I want minis because you don't have to ride them. Not that I don't like riding, but they're so trainable and so fun. Like, look at her going around in her merry-go-round. Like, she's such a good pony. Sylvie's still in her pajamas. This is what happens. 
Benny, don't push the balls. Sylvie's got, break the carrot, break the apples into pieces. Sylvie's got a bowl of apples down there. But I love this. Like this is something I'm so super passionate about. I would love to have three minis, although I don't know if Gabby's into that. But I would love to have three minis and three of us and have competitions on training them. Willow's already ready. Like, Sophie just has to walk into the arena with purpose, and that mini is like, oh, I know we're gonna work. And she just watches her and learns really fast what she wants her to do. Penny's the center. See, Penny's in the middle. She's the star in the middle. Basically, in Penny's old life, she was a trail horse for a religious group, and um, they took them on trail rides through the mountains. And so, basically, she followed behind or she led, whatever, and she took complete beginners on trail rides. And so, all she had to do was follow through the paths and follow. And the rider really didn't do much; they just sat there. And I can see that in Penny. Like, I, Penny likes her routine she likes to know what to expect and she doesn't want anybody to mess it up for her like she's a girl in charge and i think that's why like she's not even though her old owner wrote her and and did a lot with her but before that she's not in love with people telling her what to do she's like she likes to know what to what's expected of her and then she likes to just go out there and do it and she likes you to trust her and and that's what i love about her like that's what i love about her and i think that's why we connect because i don't really want to tell her what to do and she really doesn't want me to tell her what to do and that's what i want to do with her i just want to go out and trail i just i don't want to learn like how to flex her this way or flex her that way or or do side passes or I don't even know any of the words like I don't that's not me and I don't and Penny's done that stuff and I don't want to do that though I just want to have a horse that I can sit on and that she just goes out there and goes on a trail and so that's yeah I just felt compelled to tell you guys that <laughs> Penny's like okay I'll push the <laughs> she doesn't know what to expect and even Sam tells me good girl yeah good girl even sam tells me like when he comes down to take care of her he says penny is so funny like she knows all the rules and so she just obeys all the rules and if you mess it up her schedule she gets so annoyed <laughs> get off with those squares sophie loves her pony i'm not even joking Come here. <laughs> sells this shirt it says jumper we can't really see it it says jumper on it who can name the company that makes these bamboo t-shirts yeah. lazy to ride I really want to ride today like so bad but I really want to rest too 
I'm sorry, Penny. It's because we got up at 5 a.m. yesterday. Yeah, it's like if you get up at 5 a.m. one day, then you're messed up for a couple of days. She's like, that's okay, Laura. I was standing, I was, I was standing back here just in case you were going to try and make me ride, but now you say you're not. So I'm going to go push this over. <laughs> I'm going to go push this over. Push it, Penny. Push it, Penny. Push it. Good girl. Good girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful?